If you've been watching this channel long enough, you know that I tend to say that bearded dragons are a lot like toddlers. And it's true, they really are, especially when it comes to getting them to eat their greens. Hey guys, it's Erin, and on this channel, we dig into reptile education for better care and conservation. Joining me again this week is Eugene. Eugene is one of our rescue beardies who is gonna be available for adoption very soon, so send him some love, wish him some luck. We're looking for the best home possible for him, and he's going to make someone so, so happy. He's just an amazing little guy. See, I'm almost ready for my home, little Eugene. You're so cute, oh my goodness, the camera loves you. Now last week, we talked a lot about what your bearded dragon should be eating because there's this push on pellets in stores and that's not what they should be fed. Instead, you know now that they need to be fed things like insects and plants. But <laughs> bearded dragons, can be picky. They can be very picky. They can turn their nose up at greens and that can be really stressful. I recognize that. I know I've had a few bearded dragons that have been very, very picky about their greens. So in this video, we're gonna be talking about how you can get those little picky buddies to eat their veggies like good little lizard babies because I've got some foolproof tricks for you. That's right. We're tricking our beardies. Now, before I share my secrets with you, I would love for you to do me a favor. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe. We put out new videos every single week. And if you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit that notification button so you don't miss a thing. You don't wanna miss a thing, trust me. All right, so first things first. If you have found yourself with a picky dragon, don't panic. We will get through this. We will get them eating. It will be okay. If you end up with a bearded dragon who has decided that they are boycotting they're veggies. Again, don't panic. We will take care of this. If your bearded dragon has been consistently not eating, here is your disclaimer. Please make sure that you are taking your reptiles to the vet for checkups. Make sure you're monitoring things like their weight. Make sure that you are offering things. Most of the time, picky bearded dragons are new in their environment or they are being offered new things and they're not used to it. Okay? But if you have a bearded dragon that is refused to eat long term and they're only eating insects, a vet visit might be in order and your vet might be able to help you figure out what's going Going on. This video is really to talk about the general like picky dragon who is healthy but not quite sure about those greens. Now that you have that disclaimer, let's jump into some of my secret tips for getting very picky, very naughty dragons to eat their veggies. So my very first, my number one tip is to always offer a variety of things and take note of the things that work. This means you might have to buy a significant amount of greens to try out different ones. We went through multiple types of greens before we determined that Bumble absolutely loves mustard greens. She does not want to touch any other green, but she will eat mustard greens like they are going out of style. She loves them. So try a variety of greens. Try a variety of vegetables. There may be one kind that just really, really sucks your dragon in and that they just fall in love with. Take note of those, especially if they are staple feeds like greens. That means you then know what to offer them regularly. Now, if you haven't had any luck getting them to try anything, you can go with tip number two, and that's hide your bugs underneath your salad. We've also done this here in the household and it worked beautifully. When Q arrived, Q decided that he was not going to eat any greens at all. Despite the fact that he was severely malnourished, he thought that he could only eat bugs and that was the only thing he was going to eat. He would live off of bugs alone. So after trying him on multiple types of greens and having no luck getting him to even taste them, I put his dubia roaches under his greens. And that made the greens move around a little bit. And once those greens moved around a little bit, they became bugs and then he ate them. And now he's eating them consistently on his own. He just eats them. That trick has worked for so many of my reptiles. So many rescues have come through here not wanting to eat veggies, including the little skink back here and hiding bugs underneath the food was just like perfect. It was like the best decision I've ever made, okay? Another fun way to trick your dragon into eating a veggie is by offering them a bug and slipping them a green instead. Oh, I know. I mean, I've got all these like little rescue verities in front of me and they're looking at me like, how could you do this? But it works. It really does work. So I will occasionally have a rescue that is just a total pain in the tuchus about food. And when the variety of salads doesn't really work and hiding the bug in the bowl underneath the salad doesn't work, I like to 
pull the old switcheroo where I will take a dubia roach and I will hold it close enough and they'll get that little tongue out and you know they're ready to take the bug and when they stick their tongue out I will immediately switch that dubia roach out for a green or a vegetable of some sort. Do they always love it? No. Does it get into their mouth and in their belly? Nine times out of ten, yes. So don't be afraid to trick them that way. Anything to get them to eat, right? <laughs> Another amazing option for getting your bearded dragon to eat is to actually put some bee pollen on their food. Bee pollen is available at a lot of different like natural grocery stores. I get mine at Wegmans. You can also order it online and it comes in a powder and you literally are just going to sprinkle it on top of your bearded dragon's food. And for some reason, they love it. It smells good, it tastes good, and it gets them to really eat those greens. Now these are all great starting points for you to get your bearded dragon to eat. But if you are struggling, don't be afraid to call your vet and talk to your vet about this. Reptiles need vets too. But the biggest piece of advice I can give you here is to just be patient. Your bearded dragon has its own little personality and its own little likes and dislikes. You just have to find the things that he likes. Right, Eugene? Eugene, on the other hand, loves all food except bell peppers. We offered him some bell peppers fresh from my organic garden and he was like, mm -mm, no. He does love collard greens and carrot shavings and squash and of course buggos, but no bell peppers. Now, if you're trying to figure out what it is you should be feeding your bearded dragon, you're gonna wanna watch the video that's on your screen right now, where I break down some of the top feeds for your bearded dragon so that you can get them off of the gross diet and get them onto a healthy one. All right, my friends, until I see you in that video, remember, do your research. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye. Goodbye.